Guess to look. Guess to look. I give you fifty. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> That, man. I should talk a little bit about negotiation in uh, these third world countries. You can actually negotiate the price. Because this fucking dude literally asked me for 850 Egyptian fucking pesos. <laughs> Egyptian pounds, right? Which is uh, the equivalent of like 50 US dollars. 850 Egyptian pounds, 54 US dollars for something that probably literally costs one US dollar. In fact, in fact, I'm just thinking one 8 a.m. This guy actually lured me into the store by saying one dollar, one dollar. And he said, it's one Nubian dollar. And I'm like, that's not a currency. You just made up a fucking currency. And I still ended up paying him 200 Egyptian pounds. Just like, was that like 12 USD? Not a big deal. But I'm just thinking like their profit margin is like pretty nuts. You got to get really good negotiating. But because I offered him, because uh, I really like the scarf. This shit's beautiful, man. I really wanted it. I think it's gorgeous. And I'll probably rock this at the club. Yeah, I wanted it. To me, it was, it was worth it. 200 for both. And he said, no, actually he said no. He kept upping the price. I walked away. He's like, okay, 200. Like, cool. By the way, you can do this in any country that operates outside of Western society. Want to ride one? That's it? So boys, are you guys excited to see the pyramids? Oh yeah. Korea. Yes. What's going on? What are your feelings? What are your emotions? Uh, I feel a little horny. Really? Seeing you in that camera. You're gay! You're he's gay! Can you uh, guess the Uber driver's name? Mohammed, easy. How the fuck did you know? <laughs> do you guys know that Mohammed is the most common name in the world? But if you put your name as Mohammed on Tinder, nobody's gonna match you. So change your name to Tyler. Welcome to Cairo, boys. All right, guys, we are here. You know the cool thing about traveling countries like this, man? If you make like minimum wage in Western society, you're rich as shit here. If you make six figures, you're like equivalent of a millionaire. If you make seven figures, you're a fucking deca millionaire. It's like insane. Are you even like millionaire status? It's like a god. Guys, we're in Africa. In motherfucking Egypt, dude. This place is sick. I don't know what that says. It says Habibi. Habibi. Actually, it actually says Habibi. All right, Hassan, nice to meet you. Are you our tour guide? I'm your CEO, your chief experience officer. Oh, that is, is amazing. Great. Yeah, I've been leading groups with the adventure since 2007. Cool. Oh, wow. In general, since 2003, I have a wow. bachelor's degree in Egyptology. Oh, Egyptology. So we were hoping to get our own rooms, but apparently that's impossible. Yeah, so our, our buddies have to share rooms with like random dudes. This is how this hotel works. Very interesting. What are we working on here? All right. That's cool. I dig it. We're here for one night. Should be good. How's the oh. view, man? Review the city? Oh, man. Damn. All right. What do you think about Egypt so far? Pretty fancy. I actually had a girl who asked me to bring a souvenir back for her, so I just bring her some fucking rocks. What the fuck is that? What kind of dog is that? Hey guys, we are literally just exploring the streets of Cairo. I don't know what to expect so far, man. So far, I'm like pretty underwhelmed, man. Where's the white women at? <laughs> Clint's gonna go do a folder approach right now. Thanks. Carter, oh, Carter, you're white. Get in there, get in there. Clint, Clint, there's a guy pointing you. He's like, no, don't do it. Don't talk to the girls. I don't, apparently, cold approach is not okay here. This guy's following us now. There's like a dude following us. We've been here for less than an hour. There's a guy following us. He's like, no, don't talk to girls. Like, this girl's staring at my buddy Clint. And he waved her and he, he just went over and said hi. It's fucking insane. So this dude's following us now. What the fuck? It's so interesting how women here or in a country outside of Western society is just like it's so naturally feminine. So I guess we made a new friend because this dude's just fucking rolling with us, alright? I don't know what this is, but uh let's go. 
One thing I always find really interesting about these types of countries is like third world walking around in the dirt to like normal fucking high quality restaurant instantly just like that. Like, menu's in English. We come to the continent of Africa and we eat fucking sushi the first night. What the fuck is wrong with us? They have food poisoning from this. <laughs> Shoot's coming. Sure. Yummy. So guys, there was a huge soccer game. And in Angela. Now there's people everywhere. One hour later. Guys, when I was in Ethiopia a couple years back, I would get swarmed by children asking me for money. As sociopathic as it may be, I'd like train my brain to just not hand out money to people. It's very common in these countries that people will send their kids as kind of like a tourist scam, almost criminal racket to beg tourists for money. It's very unethical, I don't wanna partake in it. Hey, if they wanted me to actually go buy the food, I'd totally do that. Just so many fucking people ask for money. It's like only one man, I can only give away so much fucking money. What, what's your name? My name is Ahmad Ya Justin. Welcome to the Habaya Club in Egypt and the Cairo. Thank Kyle. you, thank you yeah. my friend. Who's there? Who's going in your car? Yeah, it's Bali, Bali. It's Alt Valet, okay. Yeah. This, is the night. this is the club? This is the place. All right, looks cool. All right, so Let's we got Moo. Yep. And we got Mina. Mina. You guys both do pickup, right? Yeah, for sure. Awesome. How's pickup in Egypt? Let me tell you something. It's real hard and real weird, it's but, open. <laughs> but open. it teaches you to be like real but grounded it you, with it. It teaches you to be a master. If yeah. you go outside and you can do pickup in Egypt, you're a green girl. Really? Yeah, because it teaches you like be real grounded with it. Because in the Middle East, it's like more conservative and stuff, but you can do it. That's amazing. So I just linked up with a couple local PA dudes from a local uh, Cairo pickup group. I love the pickup community. Uh, if you guys ever actually want to join a local community in a major city in your country, you can go to gameglobal.net. There's uh, local PA groups all over the world. I pretty much hang out with the only two active pickup guys in Cairo. They seem like great guys, and I always love any guy from the pickup community. Where are we going right now? Go to Just Club. All right, yeah. let's, get, let's get on with it. Clint, you ready? Yeah. We're not gonna be here too long, man. Like, We're gonna be touring around Egypt, but I will be back next week for one more day. For one more day, so we'll go out. So Boys, we'll go out. out. Yep, definitely. So we're going to Cairo Jazz Club. Okay. It's a really good club here in Egypt. So guys, because of this soccer game, literally all the clubs are closed. We've been to three different nightclubs tonight, and pretty much every single club is kind of shut down. By the way, that Uber driver was trying to scam me, trying to take me like some like, like these cool pickup dudes. They were like saying that the Uber driver was trying to scam me and take me like a hooker club. Or, I don't fucking know. They call them belly dancer clubs. I don't understand. It's like where it's just like just gold digger chicks and weird fucking girls who just want to find a hus rich husband. Super strange. Wait, so these aren't buildings, these are boats. These are boats. These are boats. So you got like clubs on boats. I thought these were like buildings side by side. This is the Nile River. Oh, that's fucking insane. So we got a club over there, but it looks like all dudes. We're going upstairs, and probably there's another club up here. This is like a boat for a bunch of clubs. A few moments later. So we've gone to two different clubs. They're both shit. Um, and we didn't go in because it's a hundred dollar cover anywhere. It doesn't make sense because a dollar, like it's a dollar for an Uber anywhere in the city pretty much. Uh, if you want food, like I, I paid five dollars for like pretty much all you can eat sushi. Um, and then like clubs are hundred dollars and I don't want to pay that. Not because of any other reason other than like I don't want to fucking spend a hundred bucks to sit in some shithole venue. It's a sausage fest. It's a horrible time. <laughs> Beautiful day out here in Cairo. Damn. Got the Nile River. I can't imagine picking up girls in Cairo, Egypt. It's the most easy task, but wish me luck. It's literally called the Egyptian Museum. All right, guys. So this museum has thousands of years old artifacts. It's really interesting. The place is kind of they're always actually really good dating spots. And there's actually a lot of tourists. All right, guys, we got mummified animals. We got mummified crocodile. Pretty wild, pretty wild. Egypt. You know what time it is, right? I have some motherfucking Tinder pictures. Yeah! I had a dude I met in Mexico who's like part of the whole pickup community. And he was telling me that he climbed the pyramid 15 years ago in the middle of the night. 
And when cops pulled up, she's just like, here's $10, fuck off. And they're like, all right. I think Egypt is an amazing country with incredible culture and we should respect it, but how crazy it'd be to climb the fucking pyramid. <laughs> Didn't like Vitaly or some other YouTuber do that recently? Yeah. I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of cute girls here. I'm even gonna try squeezing a street interview if I can actually film one here. Uh, but the issue is we only have an hour here. We're bouncing around, we're popping over the pyramid, we're going to the Sphinx, we're going to like some other place. Uh, so we're gonna try to get as much content for you guys as possible to keep things interesting. I'm gonna try to pick up a girl and try to lose uh, my virginity inside the pyramid. Wish me luck. All right, guys, we are literally walking up the pyramid as we speak. This is the Great Pyramid. Giza, I believe. We're literally inside the pyramid as we speak. Literally walking through. This thing's so fucked. It's so narrow. I actually just smacked my head. Yo, Fredo, I thought you told me there's Wi-Fi in here, dude. Is there is there a Starbucks inside as well? Is this where the Starbucks is? Yo, this guy literally. Do you see that? That guy just jumped in here. This dude is just chilling. Oh, Kurt, are you sure? All right. Yo, Fredo, Slide. Just, just go, bro. You gotta squeeze. Push him. What do you get? What do you push him? What kind of dog is that? I gotta say something, man. We got Tinder pictures. We got the fucking Tinder pictures! Ah! Bro, yes. Facebook. Facebook dating? <laughs> okay. Just call your bitches. Call the girl that you're dating. Call your side hoe. Call your main chick. Call your main side chick. Call your mom. Call your grandma. Call the host. That's what Clint's doing right now. Unfortunately, all my hoes are sleeping. Bye, nigga. <laughs> Walking inside the Sphinx. We're literally inside the giant Sphinx cafe. Dude, <laughs> looking good. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. The wedding card in the light. The mask of Tutankhamun, the god Ma'i, Nefertiti, in the light is the final judgment. All right, guys, so we're in the Papyrus Museum. 328. AM. As we've done a tour of all of Cairo and the best parts of the city, uh, we just drove to a train station. I'm not even sure. Kind of fell asleep. It's pretty crazy out. And uh, we're driving on a train to the other part of Egypt. Dude, of course, like, <laughs> it's not funny. Carter, what, we're all partying. What, what the fuck are you doing? Bro, you're working, bro. This guy's working right now, man. This guy's on his fucking Dude, job. I forgot that like you guys have real jobs, and I just make YouTube videos. <laughs> Lord, man. So I'll figure while you're fucking getting everyone drunk with a bottle of bro, whiskey. Bro, I'm helping the boss. I'm five hundred dollars. I'm distracting these guys. They want to see this, this shit. This guy literally brought a bottle of whiskey to a Muslim country. <laughs> Carter's is out here. Fucking. No, he made me bring it. He made me oh, fucking. Yeah. The next. <laughs> The next morning. Oh. What is going on? Where the fuck? Where are we? Morning, morning. Morning, morning. What's up, Alfredo? All right, guys, we just slept on a fucking train overnight. We are heading to Aswan. Middle of nowhere in Egypt, pretty much. Should be an interesting time. Super fucking tired. I wanna go home. I'm, I'm so tired of traveling. I forgot that I'm traveling. I'm so fucking tired of it. And I've got a couple girls at home I wanna go see. Morning, how you feeling? What's up? Why are you wearing my sweater? Mom gave that to me. Honestly, I feel like I'm fucking homeless. Wake up on trains and shit. Like, I want a fucking shower. I, I miss my king size bed. I miss the penthouse. I miss the girls. I miss fucking getting lit. Goddamn, alcohol isn't really commonplace here in Egypt because apparently there's a group called the Muslim Brotherhood that took over the country and outlawed alcohol, partying, hoes, fucking lit thing. But, um, fuck my life. We actually have a gourmet breakfast here. We got bread, some more bread, some more bread, put some more bread right here. And actually, they mix it up and give us a muffin. Didn't the guys come outside and ask us for gourmet food? You said you wanted bread? Yeah, so they, they asked us if we wanted uh, duck, quinoa, and- uh, I just didn't feel like that. I just feel like I wanted bread today. I got, I got, I got plain bread, what the fuck this is, I got bread. They had a muffin too for dessert, fuck yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's Justin Mark here, and we are in the town of Ashwa. Is that how you say Ashwa? That's Aswan. It's Ashwitz. 
Ashwitz? I don't know. Local. Hey, local. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were the local. You look way more Egyptian than I do, bro. <laughs> Hello, my friend. How are you? Nice to meet you. Ahmed. Ahmed's making us a Turkish coffee here in Aswan, Egypt. Yo, Fred, this coffee's blacker than your fucking soul. Where are we going? I don't even know. Man. Apparently, we're going to the Philae Temple <laughs> and uh, we're jumping on a boat. Yeah. So, I'm not even sure where we are, but like, yeah. we're near Sudan. We're in the south part of Egypt. Like, my mom, she, she has a lot of money. Hello. Hello. dates back to the time of Emperor Trajan But the main temple of goddess Isis dates back to the 2nd century BC. Yo, Carter, where's the white women at? I don't know, man. Dang shit, that's all I'm on. Dang shit. Okay, you can see this is an image of a goddess. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Look at the headdress, like a vulture. Isis and Hathor were presented in the same way. And this is Horus, the son of Isis, the one who was born later. Cleopatra. What is One this more again? time. Kileu, Kileu, Pa, Dra. Mm -hmm. And the determinants. He was, she was Cleopatra the Seven. Can you tell me if this is a man or a woman? Both. <laughs> exactly. Both. You're not a lady? Yes. What are you? I'm Lady Boy. A chapel just to sing and to dance to honor the goddess of joy, love, and music, and that's goddess Hathor. So it's like a nightclub? Yeah. And Egyptian style. <laughs> guys this is gonna be such a long vlog with all the content we got going on here i want to tell you a bit a little bit of why i travel so much why i don't really travel i fucking hate it to be honest i've been complaining the entire time traveling so far now why do i do that why would i want to leave all my girls back home why would i want to leave the girls i'm dating why would i want to leave the penthouse why would i want to leave you know the lifestyle think of it this logically i'm walking through this ancient egyptian temple that's thousands of years old and i'm feeling inspired I'm like, I'm like tingling because I can feel the culture, the history, uh, the vibe, the energy. And what happens is when I go to these new places with a lot of history and culture, I just start having epiphanies, 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 different ideas, different creative ideas. And it kind of almost like recharges me with business, with dating, because how easy is it to get bored, lonely, depressed? How many times do you see successful people who have everything in life and they just want to kill themselves and hate their fucking lives? Because I get caught up in a rut. Well, traveling what it does is kind of recharges you, wakes you up, shakes you up, puts you in a comfort zone, and puts you on a level for different ways of thinking, creative ideas, different momentum, and it allows you to just think different, feel different. And now I'm having all these different ideas with dating, with business, while I'm here, and I'm thinking about how can I change my life? How can I change my own business? How can I do things to make myself and my life experience better, more memorable, just a better experience in this short time we're here on this earth? That's why I'm here. You know, I'm just like, also half the time I'm here, I'm like, why the fuck am I here? The other half the time, I'm like, this is pretty fucking epic. Yo, Fred, rub, rub your dick. Rub oh, your dick on it. I same thing. I was like, I want to scientist my dick. I don't think the best way to do it. Scrape all the shit off. <laughs> Damn, dude. This place is gorgeous, actually. I kind of don't want to go home anymore. Oh, perfect. Yo, Afraya, we're living in absolute luxury. This place is beautiful. I don't give a fuck, bro. I literally slept on a fucking train yesterday. I haven't showered. I feel like a fucking peasant. I haven't showered. How did we go from the penthouse to living like we're fucking homeless crackheads? What it is? This trip costs us $2,000 each, and guess what? This is pretty luxury nature. 
You hear that? What is that? Bro, look at our view, bro. Fuck. We can like see people like spinning their fucking wheel, I think. They're spinning a wheel. What the fuck is that? The wheel of fortune they're doing there? They have a fucking balcony that we can't even fucking use. I could probably fit through there. Wait, look, take it. It's a local supermarket, guys. Oh see? my god. Look, look, man. All her, all her supplies are behind watermelons? Her. Wanna go buy some watermelons? Wait, no, the only reason I came to Egypt was because you told me it was really easy to pick up girls here. Bro, obviously. Habibi, there's so many girls for you here. All right, guys, we are on an island. I think 3,500 people live on this island. Yes. This is what's the island called? Elephantine. Elephantine. So this is a Nubian island. Yes, sir. Man. Yeah. We're walking the streets, exploring a little bit, and we're going to just check out the city because we just went on a really cool uh, tour. We went to an island called Elephantine Island in the middle of Nile. Really interesting little small village. It's pretty interesting. It's a nice city so far. Uh, it's like relatively developed. Now, obviously, keep in mind, we're in Africa. We are in Africa. And I would love to approach girls, <laughs> and I would love to meet beautiful women. But fortunately, the average body count of a woman here in this country is one, because most women actually see themselves for marriage. I was out with the uh, pickup dudes I met the other night in Cairo, and they were telling me that, yeah, most women here are seeing themselves for marriage. It's very, very uncommon, but they will hook up with you, or, you know, party. There's no party girls. There's not much of a party culture or party vibe. Um, because also alcohol has for the most part been banned here now you can get alcohol but like it's just not as common as it was 10 years ago and so yeah man Egypt is definitely not the place to party and get lit <laughs> it's definitely fucking not you uh, no, you're not getting the dead calls too for drinking, but for getting gaming, fucked yeah. up and being crazy and being crazy gaming, fucker, yeah, you, you think picking up girls you get a dead penalty for it? Mm, I don't yeah, think you will. I don't think you will, to be honest. But yeah, yeah. you got to be smart about it and strategic about it, to be honest. Right? Like Tinder and day game is what I've heard works. Right? Alfred is not from here. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Right? I've actually talked to locals here and they said, yeah, day game and Tinder, night game, nightclubs isn't like really the, the main thing you're going to do in a, in a city or country like this. Like wakey, wakey, motherfucker. He's already downstairs. Dude, it's 4.30 in the morning. Do you know where we're going today, Clint? We're going to the Sudan border oh, badass. to pick up chicks. Okay. By the way, there's terrorists there. Clint's actually a U.S. Army veteran. He'll say this. All jokes aside, guys, we're not actually going to Sudan. We're going to the south of Egypt near the Sudan border. And our tour guide yesterday told us there is terrorists oh, okay. nearby. Do you know we're driving in a convoy? We got to drive in a convoy with armed oh security guards. Oh, my God. Guards. Oh, my because God. Terrorists. Clint. Ah! You want to go pick up girls? Let's die. fucking go, baby. Our boy Muhammad is back. We are on the bus today. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting. We all got our pillows and we're going to sleep. Good night. What, 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 the, what the fuck are you doing? Picking up girls in Sudan. Let's go. All right, guys, we are here. What the fuck? Yo, Fredo, I found the white girls. Where? We're in this crazy temple, tons of tourists here. Pretty trippy. Hieroglyphics everywhere. Oh. Oh, Guys, God. traffic here. I actually almost got hit by a car just now. Her God, look, grab me, yank me off the fucking road. Jesus. A lot of these countries, I realize that there's so many people that it's almost like they don't care about your individual life. You get hit by a car, you get hit by a car. They just kind of toss you to the side. We're just in our tour group here. Last one is actually gorgeous. However, <laughs> no alcohol, no clubs, no tattoo parlors. Kind of sucks. Beautiful. Look at this. A little restaurant on the water, the Nile River. We're going to do a little cruise up the Nile. It should be a good time. Got the Sahara Desert in the background. Hello, friends. Alright guys, so 
Got a little fucking boat party here. We're having lunch on the Nile River right now. This is definitely one of my uh, list of things that I didn't think I was going to be doing this year. Seriously, when I actually think of like when the year started, I think I'd be in Egypt riding a donkey along the Nile a few weeks later. No. Did I think I'd be having two girlfriends at the same time? No. Did I think I would be, uh, you know, having all these crazy travel experiences? Probably not. I think business would be going the way I expected to. Not really. Life is all about fucking these translucent, trippy, different new experiences. It's fucking wild as fuck. Seriously, what is life? What is it? Do you want out doing shit? Some of these things would be bad, some of these things would be good. Things would be happening. It's all a giant mystery. Try to take things day by day. Try not to judge anything. Just try to see experiences for the experience itself. Guys, this is super awkward. It's my donkey. Um, <laughs> Good. I, I went over to this kid and he let me ride the donkey. They asked for 10 Egyptian pounds, which is the equivalent of 50 US cents. I ended up giving them like five US dollars. And now these kids are like fighting over the money. They're like, fuck you, it's my money, motherfucker. And this, this poor kid was like, like taking the donkey for like a little walk with me. You know, he actually just shared the money with all his friends. But now they're you know, all fighting. It's kind of sad. You realize how much opportunity we have. You know, if you are watching this video, if you have access to the internet, if you have access to this video right now, you have access to learning knowledge, making as much money as you could ever possibly want, and scaling your income to virtually infinity using the internet. You have no excuse not to fucking succeed in this life, man. Because these kids in the middle of nowhere in fucking Egypt, because we're not even near Cairo, we're like in the middle of fucking nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere in Egypt, like riding up the Nile, a fucking boat, a sailboat. It's like, people who live here don't have the same opportunities that you do right now. What happened, boys? Nile water. You drank some water from the Nile? Jump. The second jump, I jumped in and like I had a whole mouthful and I tried to spit half of it out and the rest went in my mouth and then I swallowed it and I felt it down my throat and I was like, fuck, this is gonna give me diarrhea. Really good example of uh, abundance versus scarcity. Our entire tour group would probably kind of like ride donkeys to give all these kids money. Instead, um, the kid I gave money to, they ended up jumping him because I gave him all your money. It's <laughs> kind of fucked up. How is it, boys? <laughs> No, it was not filmed on the You were filmed. All right, guys, we were like, I'm trying to get out of a giant boat. All right. A little cuddle puddle going on here. What the fuck just happened? This guy. This fucking guy. We almost. All right. We got the fucking boat captain jamming out, dude. I love it. I love it, dude. This is hilarious. What the fuck? Of course. Of course. Oh, the bottle girl's here. Oh, shit. Here we get the magic lamps. If we, if we rub it, does uh, all the genie they come out or no? Genie is asleep. <laughs> Jesus. This is my friend for only the collation. All right, so me and Clint just bought some Egyptian ice. Thank you, Mahmoud. Appreciate you, my friend. It's really cool, little fucking. <laughs> some gangster shit, dude. I wonder what the girls are gonna think. I'm rocking this shit in the fucking club. Guys, we just got to a city called Luxor after a 24 hour boat ride and after a four hour drive. We are in Luxor, Egypt. Pan, how sweet again? That's sweet. What's our view like? Better than the last room. Apparently, we had the best room in the last hotel. Damn, alright. I find it so cool, but I play a lot of games. You play a lot of games with well, so them you, girls you know, too. And uh, this temple we're going to is exactly like the game. It's trippy, and I can, I can actually see the entrance and like the water. Well, then you can show us around. Yeah, I know the, I know the map. All right, well, I have one question. Where the mic goes at? Yeah, not here, buddy. All right, guys, so we are running around this little obelisk thingy. It's good luck. Let's go. Ah. All right, so Andrea here is a celebrity. Because she's white. The other night when we were dancing on the boat, we're all <laughs> vibing, grinding. The girls start grinding at each other, and they actually started twerking at each other. It was actually really funny. Because uh, the girls were just like, well, girls be girls. You're playing some uh, fucking rap music and shit, so they're doing their thing. And the locals 
who work on the boat came and just like started to freaking out. Probably never seen a white girl, let alone a white girl fucking twerking. We're in Egypt, man. That's where they sacrifice the virgins. Bro, this this is why you this is why I brought you here. Come here, hop on, hop on, come here. So that Andrew actually, really was is like a celebrity. People. They, they walked up to her because they're like, they've never seen a white person. A few inches later. He's like, nice to meet you. You look like you're Egyptian. I'm in a country like this, like stepping back in the time machine. Old days, man. You got horse carriages everywhere and shit. Thank you for coming. You're starting now? Yes. Thank you for coming in my shop. My name is Moses. is still alive. Tell all your friends about it. <laughs> all my regards for your family. And I hope you enjoy, uh, you know, uh, visit Egypt and enjoy especially to Luxor. And that's my store. We do gold here, you know, eating currants, you know, and silver. My number 25 sterling silver. In here, stones, you know, lavish lazuli or garnet or, you know, amber. And that's the photo for visitor here, you know. Oh, wow. I bought this super iced out silver ring. And I actually got a uh, ring for my sister. And a ring for a very special lady I'm seeing. Uh, pretty cheap, man. You, you could buy silver bands here for like a decently affordable price. The, uh, the only What's up, city you were flying. Wait, what is Come on, well, is going on? Three we're gonna drive these fucking little mini Lamborghinis on these golf cart things and driving up the fucking mountains so we can go explore. The catacomb tombs. These guys here are still looking for more tombs. We are literally just walking through the tomb of an Egyptian pharaoh. It's pretty crazy. Look at that. Shit is a great reminder that you're not gonna fucking die. So go live your life for the fullest. Have you ever wondered what Egyptian machines are like? Look at this. Look at Everyone's sad. We kind of bonded with our entire tour group. And so, uh, that's what's coming out. Thank fucking God. I'm gonna fly my ass home to Toronto, cut it up like a goddamn fucking rock star, make some goddamn babies. One eternity later. I just woke up after, I don't know how long I was sleeping for. I actually missed a dinner last night, and I missed the little after party these guys had. Apparently, there's one Irish pub in all this entire city of Luxor. Now, we are flying back to Cairo. The tour group ends. I'm gonna hang out with these uh, pickup dudes and my buddy James from Hawaii is actually flying in for the weekend. So all of us are gonna hang out. Funny enough, one of my girls is moving to Hawaii, so I'm gonna link up James and her. But it um, should be a good time. I'm gonna hang on Cairo, maybe get some tattoos, maybe do some souvenir shopping. It'll be a good time. Clint, goodbye hey, friend, man. I'll see you soon. All right, man. You can come Real pop soon. into Toronto sometime? See you in a few months. Hell yeah, buddy. Afredo, I'll see you home in a couple months. Afredo, I'm gonna have an orgy in your bed. Just letting you know. Hey, Goodbye, guys. Ow. He likes the cold weather. <laughs> I'm coming to Canada because I love winter. Yes. And I love winter fashion. Let's go check in the hotel, boys. Guys, I must say, if you live in Western society, in your first world country, you should be very, very fucking grateful. Because goddamn. All right, guys, I landed in Cairo safe and sound, walking down the street in <laughs> what looks to be the hood. My hotel is okay, but it's like, I live in the nice, like, I'm, I'm seeing one of the best hotels in the city, and it's still a fucking shithole. There's a kid trying to talk to me in the street right now. Hello. How are you? Do you speak English? Thank you, my friend. Anyway, yeah, it's, um, it's from like the fucking third world. The moment I start speaking English, people start harassing me in the street. No, thank you, sir. No shukram, no shukram. No shukram. All right, guys, I guess I made a new friend. He's following me. It's like a little puppy. I really don't want kids. Cairo's a pretty nice city, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's not horrible, but there are some parts of it that are extremely third world. I used to live in LA, 
So there's some parts of Cairo that are actually nicer than some parts of LA. Seriously. All right, guys, just here at Sandra, about to get a food started. Out here with Sandra. Oh, yeah. She's my tattoo artist. Yep. Doing an amazing <laughs> job. Sandra, you're from Cairo? I'm from Cairo. Awesome. Yeah. How long have you been doing tattoos for? I've been tattooing for six years. Wow, you're doing an amazing job so far. I'm excited to see how it turns out. We got the artist, Sandra. We're Thank done. you so much. Sandra, what's your Instagram so everyone can follow you? It's syg.tattoos. Check it out. It hurts a lot. Eventually. Hey guys, we're out here with the boys. What's going on, boys? You're back in the vlog. Two active local pickup guys in all of Cairo, probably in all of Egypt. And uh, we're going to Blue we're going Night. To Blue Night or Moon Deck, and we're gonna pick some fucking chicks up. So fucking wish me luck. And I was supposed to actually link up with these guys for day game, yep. and instead I decided to go get a fucking tattoo. So I got a full on sleeve going on no, here, guys. Come on, it's, it's a fucking dope tattoo. So. It is a good fucking tattoo. It is a good tattoo. Dude, you know what I look like? I look like a fuck boy. So, um, it's actually really interesting tattoo, but these guys were in day game the whole day. I kind of regret not doing day game with them. But uh, I don't know, man. I've done a lot of day game in my time. I can't imagine day game in Cairo, Egypt is that easy. Bro, you're gonna see what it's like right fucking now. We're about to head to the place and you're gonna see what how is game in uh, Cairo, Oh yeah, so, man. Well, I'm super fucking action. excited. So, We're actually gonna be linking up with my buddy James from Hawaii. So I linked up with James five years ago in Hawaii. He took me out. We linked up a couple years ago in Bangkok. He's in my Bangkok vlog that got hundreds of thousands of views. And we're gonna go link up with him and his girlfriend right now. We'll see you guys soon. Habibi! Habibi! Where the holes at? Damn, daddy. Let's go. What's up, boys? What's up? What's up, guys? Let's go on an adventure. Okay. All right, guys. We're linking up with good old James. His girlfriend's here, too. The guys are here. I'm here. And uh, James, we Yo. first met five years ago in Hawaii. Yeah, we met in Hawaii. We hung out for ago. one day. <laughs> then we linked up two years ago in Bangkok and we hung out for one day. Now we're here in fucking Cairo, Egypt. Random, for one random day. <laughs> this guy, it, it's like we're indirectly accidentally travel buddies, but we only travel together for one day at that's a time. What, that's what I keep I kept telling her. I was like, man, I seen man. this guy it's at fucking crazy. In Bangkok for New Year's. And then now we're here in Egypt, out of all the random places three in the world. Three continents. <laughs> three parts of the world. Well, let's go, man. Let's go. Oh, lovebirds. Even James here. <laughs> We're walking up to this little bar here. We've actually to a couple venues, and every single one of them is dead. In terms of hundred dollar covers, so we're not really going in. Unless there's a reason to. All right, guys. Everywhere is dead tonight. Because it's a Sunday night. Everywhere is dead, guys. Let's go walk on the streets. All right, so we are getting some... Falafels, you got them? Let's go, baby. Right. With Egyptian experience, we're gonna go to some shady fucking street and we're gonna eat our fluffer right fucking there. So Perfect. Yeah, Sounds maybe, good, man. Maybe you get kidnapped, but we're never gonna get kidnapped. Fingers crossed. We gangster. So it's so funny that we just got falafel and we're gonna eat it at a freaking alleyway over here. It's like, like yeah, you guys got fucking crack? <laughs> no, we're eating fucking falafel. Yeah, I'm gonna so, try it. Yeah, try it. Yeah. All right. Where's falafel? How is it? Oh, it's fucking good. Alright, guys, we are wrapping up the evening's activities. Uh, I gotta say, thank you for taking us out. You guys Bro. are the best. Thank Bro, you. you the best. Thanks, man. It's a pleasure. James, it's great to see you. Uh, and it was great to meet you. It was good to meet you. <laughs> it was a good time. We're gonna drop these guys off. And I guess drop me off. And then I gotta fly out. Guys, take care. James, much love. James, I guess I'll see you a couple years in like fucking Antarctica or like Australia or some shit. Guaranteed. Some other continent, maybe South America. The time together is coming to an end. It was yeah. a pleasure meeting you guys. Last out, bro. We do. Bro, any last words to the world? Once I met Justin, I was like, bro, is he the shit? And right fucking now, in his last hour, I'm gonna say, full fucking truth, he is the shit. Hey, thanks, buddy. Appreciate he it. He got it. Justin, he got it. The shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>
once just came to Egypt, I was like, maybe not, maybe he is, but like right fucking now, I'm saying he's the man. Hey, he's, thanks, the, buddy. he's that guy. He definitely is that guy. Awkward at the airports because I got a fucking rhinoplasty and I have long hair now. There's my passport picture, my short hair, and a different nose. So they're like, this isn't you. And I'm like, this is kind of awkward. <laughs>